Reid, we know that battery technology isn't really keeping up with other, other advances in smartphone technology, but how did that result in these massive problems of Samsung and, of course, that Note 7? Yeah, it looks like a combination of issues. One is uh, the battery is bigger in the Note 7 uh, by as much as 15 to 20 percent from its predecessor and even compared to the larger iPhone, the iPhone 7 Plus against which it is competing. Uh, on top of that, people want these uh, batteries to charge faster. Uh, that's partly to deal with the fact that they don't last as long. And then uh, another factor is, uh, you know, there's a push for slimmer and slimmer phones. And so you're trying to cram a lot of power, a lot of functionality into a tighter space and this I think was one of the major reasons why um, we've had so many uh, issues with the Note 7 and, and the recall. Uh, tell me something here, uh, you know, Reid, is it an issue with the design, manufacturing or technology that, uh, that has been causing these problems? Yes, uh, so at this point what we know is that Samsung SDI, it's an affiliate of the electronics manufacturer, uh, was making the batteries. Um, there was uh, several reports, but uh, they mostly point toward a, a sort of a membrane that separates the positive and negative terminals within the battery. Um, that seemed to have failed or not worked properly in some way. And so what you essentially get is a short circuit. And, and we're talking about a lot of volatile and sensitive chemicals and materials within the battery uh, causes a chain reaction and, and an electrical fire. So that, that's really what seems to be the issue. Now, Samsung has already uh, said publicly that they're switching to a lot of new suppliers. And so they, they seem to have figured out the problem at the very least. All right. Now, what changes might we see, uh, might we, might we see as a result of this exploding phone episode? I mean, the reality is, is that we are at the limits of battery technology. Um, the material science is, is just coming up against some, you know, very hard sort of physical rules. And unless we see a lot of new materials or new kind of ideas into the space, come into the space, we're not going to see an improvement anytime soon because a lot of these um, technological advances in batteries uh, take, you know, 10, 15 plus years to develop. So what we will probably see is other ways to deal with the issue, for example, uh, better software and uh, and processors that, that use much less power, uh, essentially trying to squeeze more life out of what is very, fairly uh, limited technology in terms of providing electricity to the you know tablets and smartphones that uh, everyone seems addicted to.